Welcome to the Sticky Piston Trials. Here, you can get your free Minecraft server, which runs for up to 24 hours. You can play the latest vanilla and modded Minecraft servers, or you can host a Minecraft party server for friends with over 2,000 Minecraft maps to choose from. Pretty cool, right? What more, when your trial ends, you can transfer your world to a 7-day hosting package, where the fun just carries on. So, get started today. Head over to trial.stickypiston.co. Test, test. Ah, yes, we are live. Sorry, my apologies. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, my Caledorians, wherever you are, whenever you are. I apologize about the brief delay there getting started. And uh, But yes, we are back uh, to some more All the Mods 8. Looks like there are a couple uh, updates to some packs, some mods. So I'm probably, after this stream tonight, I'm going to save the world and uh, go ahead and update to the most recent version. Hopefully we don't lose anything. I'm saving the world just as a um, 
just to be on the safe side. You know how it goes. But anyways, we're going to hop in. I am so glad you guys are here. It is Tuesday, the very last day of January 31st, 2023. Hard to believe. One month down, 11 more to go. Uh, but yeah, we are doing good. Uh, had work today. A um, little tired, I'm not going to lie. I was up till about uh, 2.30 or so Monday morning and then up till about 2.30 or so this morning and... You know, here I am streaming and all that fun stuff, but you know, it is what it is. Make sure everything's working. Should be. I need to, I think I don't need the fence there. I think I want the fence around here. Yeah, yeah, I don't need the fence. I don't know why I put it there. Don't know why I put that there either. All right, so uh, our mahogany fence, we're actually going to take around the back side here, right? Let's go chop. Uh, uh, should have some mahogany wood somewhere, I hope. I hope. I don't know then. Uh, but yes, what are we going to do today? Well, I've been watching a little bit of uh, a streamer I really enjoy, Chosen Architect. He is also doing a playthrough. He's much, much farther along in ATM8 than I am, but he also starts much earlier than I did as well. And uh, I think we're going to be getting rid of the storage system and go into something else. So, But we'll do that here in a minute. Mahogany. Uh, let's see, mahogany planks, that'd be fine, actually. Let's go and grab uh, half a stack, should be good. And uh, we'll go grab some sticks. Which should actually also be tied over here, I think. Yes, they are. So we'll just grab a half stack of sticks. And uh, let's do a little bit of quick crafting here. And let's see how many, 24, that is not enough, I know that's not enough, let's grab another half a stack of mahogany, uh, mahogany, let's actually grab, yeah, another half stack should be fine, uh, we don't have much left, so we're going to definitely have to be smart here, but uh, this will at least kind of get us going and keep a, a little bit of our crops protected, which is what we're wanting to do just real quick, so... I noticed some grounds that got trampled or something, and so I just try and put up a little bit of protective barrier here. And really, we don't need access to this. Um, we really don't, so. Let's do that real quick and uh, yeah then we'll throw up our torches up top there not a problem we'll throw a torch there torch here and of course it's even so we won't do that but I'll be all right torch torch All right, but there we go. So that is that set up, and now we can start working on our next farm here. Eventually, not right now, but we will work on that soon. I'm gonna do the exact same setup. Uh, we'll just have the poles going that way instead, and it will, as I said, be the exact same setup. Uh, we don't, we'll leave the sugar cane alone right now. I'm really hoping that should, I think, power two of these. As long as they're not running at the same time, I do think that's enough power generation. So, anyways, talking about storage real quick, because uh, we are going to work on some storage today. But I was, uh, as I said, I was watching Chosen Architect. And there is a much better 
storage thing to use. I gotta find it real quick though. Where is it? Crafting card. Let's see. Am I just that blind to it? Let's see. Screen controller. I think this is actually it. Before screens can work, they need to get power from this controller. Even a screen that has only modules that require no power will need to have a controller. One controller can power many screens as long as they are in range. All right, so that's that, but I don't know if that's all we need. Blazing generator, coal generator, crafting station. Builder, uh, space chamber, uh, machine infuser, processor, modular storage. I know it wasn't modular storage used. Crafter tier one. Spawner, node, controller. Here it is. So it's going to cost us a few ender pearls, a machine frame, which is some iron, lapis, and gold nuggets, but that is what it's called a storage scanner. So a storage scanner, we scanner, excuse me, we could actually totally get rid of all of our integrated stuff and uh, just have it set up. So I think storage is going to get moved today. So the whole plan was to begin with was to have storage kind of tied into this building anyways. Now the question is, do we want it visible? Oh, well that's a pain in the butt. <laughs> oh, good lord. That's a wrong spell, you knucklehead. Stupid witch. Alright. Uh uh oh six. Oh nope. Six is my shaders. Let's say five is that. Four. gonna die <laughs> run 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 oh boy <laughs> that was really dumb <laughs> um how do i not have any food on me Me. 
All right, what we need is something to get up top. All right, there that is. Let's see. Where's this other one at? Okay, last thing I want is a boss fight. Oh, we're probably going to get attacked. I did get something. All right, so other than that unplanned attack, <laughs> is that the boss? Let's see. I don't think that was the boss. Where did this pillager fall? I don't see this other pillager. Let's go grab some milk, eat a few more carrots. And I'm barely hearing game sounds. See that seem better. Yeah, that's better. I have too much stuff on me again. Uh, the fluid. Why did I need the fluid? Oh, he's there. That's really weird. Okay, very, very weird.
So I had an interesting thought, and I think I'm right. I was watching a playback the other day, and I noticed something that I had forgotten to do something. That was a bad idea, bad, bad, bad idea. <laughs> that was not actually taking any power out of that and adding it to the energy cube. I noticed that, as, as I said, I was watching my playback. I'm like, wait a second. So now, there we go. That would get a little bit more power. I mean, still not enough, especially when it's raining all the time. But it's something. Okay. Bucket. Go milk a cow. Let's go make a few different sets of stairs. And actually, with the chisel variant, I'm uh, with the chisel, I'm hoping we can actually get a, um, a couple different stair types. And we are going to start working on our second floor, because I think that is where we're going to move storage. Get this over to here. I see chat a little bit better from that screen. And then Quark also has something I want to play with, but I need to get some inventory freed up somehow. We are so full of inventory. <sighs> Everything's filled up, of course. Just out of curiosity, I hope this works on stairs. It does not. Oh, but what it will work on, hold on. Hold on. All right, let's grab some cobble. Uh, let's grab two stacks. Okay. Let's go with our chisel here. I want the moss variant. I want the smooth stone variant. Oh, that's pulverized. If it doesn't work, I can always get rid of it. Yes, okay. So we'll grab 32 of them. All right. Okay, take that. Take 
that. And then we will take that, okay. Okay. And then we need, um, I'll be fine. Uh, we'll do the stairs first. All right, so Cork has a trowel. Cork trowel that we want to make, actually. So it's a stick and uh, two pieces of iron. Do we got some iron on us? I don't appear that we do. Um... No iron, gold, okay, and copper. Two of those and a stick. Turn you back to. Actually, you know what? That's fine. All right, so there's a trap. Okay, we can have a few more carrots. Okay. There that is. Okay. So now we want a few. Okay. Let's go put the stairs up for a moment. Yeah, I think I know how I want this to look, so. Uh, let's see. Do I have storage somewhere? Okay, there that is. Grab that. So there's, oh, I bet you don't have a, 
You do not. Okay. I I'm a little disappointed that the chisel doesn't have a few more options, but that'll be all right. Turn you back into your cobble. All right, so let's go cobble. Let's go stone, stone brick, and mossy. And let's see. You should give me slabs. 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 And slabs. Alright. There that is. Then take our trowel back. There we are. I like it a little bit more random, honestly. But beggars cannot be choosers, right? So this looks good. What I love is this trial doesn't take any damage, so. The only thing we working against us is just we're gonna have to eventually grab some more um more planks, right?
I mean, that's a safety hazard, I guess, uh, professionally speaking, but uh, we'll deal with it. good though I like that that looks nice uh, let's do one quick check of something though I gotta make sure there's enough light it's looking positive no dark areas over there Let's go get our some more stone slabs. So the nice thing too about this uh, storage scanner is we'll be able to use a mixture of storage. So we don't have to use just drawers, don't have to use just chests. We can really kind of use anything. variant perfect I know probably storage isn't the most exciting thing, but hey, it's important. And since I stream this, I don't do YouTube. You got to get the good with the bad. So all the fun adventures, but also all the uh, some of the tedious build work. So I still am having fun. And, you know, this trowel is really a very, very cool thing. I like it. I knew I had something coming up here soon, so I'm trying to make sure I avoid that little hole there. Oops, come on. Come on, Calidor. There we are. There we go. So now this floor we can turn into, this will be like a lot of machines. So it won't just be our mechanisms. We'll probably get some thermal in here and a few other things. Um, 
Oh, actually, you can... Oh, no, let's actually do this right... There we are. Yeah, that looks good. Um, may actually have a door here. Um, Alright, so there's a walk path. Okay, very good. I can live with that. Alright, so the walls are going to stay our current design outside. I'm not going to randomize them. But yeah, I think this becomes storage. And how we want to do it is we want to build like some, um, oh, oh, perfect. Actually, that'd be all right. How am I going to get power? Maybe I close. Doors and bridges close behind you. What am I to do? Right, so I need to get Where's power up here somehow. How do I do that? Unless um, I build that up, which we could do. Um, okay. Gotta think on that. Or power could come up the back wall somehow. Okay, I'll have to think through that part. But yeah, so there's floor two. So that's good. Uh, does not appear anything as spawnable here. All right. I'll hit my F7 one more time just to make sure. Okay. Uh, Just for the time being, I just want torches up here to keep mobs from spawning. I do a bank. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I know what I want to do here. All right. Very good. So we're going to need stone brick and then some diagonal stone brick. Uh, but that will look good. We'll do windows up top, although it won't have as many windows. Maybe we'll do a couple big windows. Um, that might be cool. Do a row of stone brick. Um, I thought 
Okay, let's get some more cobblestone smelting into stone. We got plenty of coal, so that's not a problem. We probably should at some point get these powered and automated. Grab four stacks of cobblestone. All right, so there that is. That's all going. All right. The other thing I really, really want to actually work on is some of our Arsnavo stuff. So, oh, hold on. We got the... So, all gliss. All right, right now, we can only work on air, uh, one. Ooh, we should make the diamond pickaxe. Get Amplify. Bounce is going to take a little bit of work. Conjure Mage Block. I don't know what that does. We'll see. Cut. Okay, cool. Harvest. Freeze. Evaporate. Dispel. Delay. Ignite. Interact. Item pickup, that'd be handy too. Knockback, launch, leap. Leap would be nice to have, actually. Um, place block, pull, redstone signal, rune, snare, summon steed. Ooh, that'd be a cool one to get too. Uh, what is this? Summon wolves. Ooh. Okay, cool. We need some wildin for that. And toss. Hold shift for more info. Okay, cool. So, um, a couple things I learned. This is going to go because we can actually... Uh, whoops. Uh, we can actually... Uh, put a arch uh, arch plank chest by the uh, by the scribe table and actually put anything we need on that instead of throwing it on the table and it would collect on the table. So this is going to go bye bye. We'll find a new place for this. Uh, I guess it could be bedside table for right now. There we are. Leather. Now, I know I need leather for books because we really want to get some enchanting going too. Ah, so much to do. So much to do. Mossy stairs. Stone brick stairs. That can all go there. Oh, because that's birch. And not up.
There we go. That'll get filled back up. All right, so some Ars Nouveau. Let's see out our goal, how much gold we have. I mean, I got good armor, so we could go exploring. seen jellyfish around here have I? I don't think I have no no jellyfish oh hey what's that a jellyfish. See jellyfish there, though. All right, very good. have a slime balls oh, we got a few actually okay so mm. where is our worn book See it on my inventory. Ah, oh, war notebook. All right, so we need to make a couple things, and actually, the quest book would tell us too. Let me look at this real quick. Let's go to Ars Nouveau, or Art Nouveau. Which is here. We need the imbuement chamber, which is some archwood planks and two gold ingots. Let's get that going. that real quick some archwood planks uh, let's throw our copper in here real quick I don't need it hmm. 
Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Archwood. So there's our ambulance chamber. And now we can get to the point where we're making some source gems. So we need two gems. Uh, okay. Where do we put our... had some amethyst. Where did I put it? Where did I put the amethyst? Oh, you know what? We have two source gems, though. All right. What do we get? Um, I didn't see. Source berry did not get a wild and horn or anything. Bummer. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. So next steps. We need to get We've already made that uh, dowsing rod source source jar. We need some planks and some glass. And we're gonna need two uh, and some wheat. Okay. And I really want to know where my amethyst went. Elementopedia, all the Madium, good. All our books will go in here in our desk cabinet. No, it doesn't hold much, does it? Well, that's okay. We got that back one, too. Okay. Find some glass. Yeah. 
That gives me one source jar. Now I am curious about something. I'm wondering if the fence will stop that from sending source. We're going to leave that there for a minute. We'll come back and check here in a bit. has to have visibility. In fact, I'm almost sure it does. Now, what if I put you up top here? Of course, not you. They better stop slamming that door. There are going to be some consequences. All right, we'll leave that there for a bit. Okay. So we need this, two source gems, a wheat and some gold. Let's grab a thing of wheat. That's what I needed. Okay. So that will receive the growth tick. We'll send to that. So then this can actually be moved. And even, oh, that far away even. Nice. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's move you just a bit farther because we do got a few other things we got fit over here. Let's say you right there nice okay that is awesome looks like those ones probably won't send that far but my theory is if I put another one around here somewhere it would send but we're probably gonna move those crops into a crop field anyways at some point so excellent Oh, ouch. I moved my mic and I got to get used to where it's at now. Okay, let's see. So let's read up on the notebook. So we got that now. All right, let's go back to the quest chain, actually. So we got this. Looks like it gave us another source jar. That will give us some while uh, something. Looks like it just gave us gems, right? Source berries. I mean, that's fine. Another source jar. I don't mind if I do. We can go there. That's right. Seven percent. Now that's starting to already get some. Nice. Okay. Oh, 
All right, so the next step is sore stone. Sore stone's a little expensive to make. Because it is stone around a source gem, which means we need to get some more gems. One way we can get gems is amethyst, which is why I'm kind of frustrated. I don't know where my amethyst is. I know I had some. That's what's... Ah. Right here. There we are. So we'll just throw that in there. Give it a minute. Now that's interesting. Just really slow. All right, doesn't matter. That's not actually stopping. It's just really slow because it doesn't have a whole bunch of source yet. Very, very slow. I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe a tool or something that links the source jars. Let's see. Cassie, World Generation, Archwood Trees, Imbument Chamber. The Imbument can turn certain items to source, new items. The primary way to obtain source gems, amethyst, the lapis may be used to create source gems. Earth, water, conjuration. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right, so it's it just going to take some time. As these get more source, that will fill up better. I do think we want one more of these over here somewhere to help feed the source jars. So why don't we make that real quick? Grab some more wheat. Let's see if I'm right. Wow, that I mean that goes from a far range.
trying to understand. Five percent. So that's still getting some, but I don't see you. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Maybe there's just really slow. Okay. I can live with that. I'm just trying to understand. All right. We need quite a bit of this, of this. So we need eight source stone, which one of them is crafted from this, right? So any kind of st uh, stone and one will give me eight, but I need enough to then also make eight pedestals, which that is four. So we really need 16 pedestal, uh, 16, and then we're gonna need another couple source gems for that. Whoops. Dang it. Sorry, I know I'm a lot of silence on my part. I apologize. Um, I am tired, so it doesn't help. And then I'm not that great of a uh, thinking off the, off the cuff stuff to talk about anyways. What we're trying to do is I'm just trying to get this process to speed up because I would love about eight source gems, ideally, I think. I mean, we got our source jars, should be feeding this, so I'm not sure why they're not. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let me look at one other thing on the quest book. Maybe I'm overlooking something. A little expensive, but we have it, so we'll need two more source stones for that, too. And actually, we'll need six for that. Oops. We'll get this one done and then we'll craft a few more things here. And after this, uh, we will take a very brief break. Uh, I'll get up, stretch my legs, top off my beverage. And then we'll go for one more hour. So, yeah, on Tuesdays, I'm only really able to stream for two hours uh, currently. And if it gets to the point I can get home a little earlier and just get stream going, I may try to push that a little bit. But it's unlikely that that's going to change anytime soon. Uh, let's see. I have eight of those down, and we got some various stone downstairs, including tough. 
think we have some talk down here. Oh yeah, I got quite a bit. So we'll grab a stack. Which gives us 64 source stuff. All right, now we gotta go make a few more source gems. And I guess we will use this opportunity to take a break. I'll chill in the house. Um, let's see. Before I take the break, let me tell you a little bit about myself and a little bit about this channel. My name is Calador, full-time husband, full-time father, full-time employee, and very, very part-time streamer and content creator. That's not the right button. Uh, you can catch me here on my own channel Tuesdays and Sundays. Sundays I try to do a little earlier, probably going to be around either, uh, well, probably 8, probably 8 to 10 uh, most Sundays. So this last Sunday we did a little earlier than that. But most Sundays, it'll be 8 to 10. Uh, Tuesdays, it'll be typically about 9.30 to 11.30. And then uh, you can also catch me over on the Sticky Piston channel. Uh, if on Saturday mornings, typically 8.30 there. I normally stream for four hours, although this week I'll probably only be doing a two-hour stream, I'm thinking. I got a few things to do Saturday, so I'm probably only going to do a two-hour stream this week. Uh, but the next Saturday, I'll be back to my standard four hours. So, anyways, yeah, best ways to check me out. You can also follow me over on Twitter, which is Cal at Calador2. I used to have Calador, but something happened to that. And anyways, it's Calador2 now. And one of these days, I I'm in the process of thinking about some rebranding. So, there may be some changes coming, including my Twitter name, if I can. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Um, Sticky Piston. I want to tell you a little bit about Sticky Piston. Sticky Piston is a Minecraft hosting providing company made by Minecrafters for Minecrafters. And the best Minecraft hosting company you're going to find. I guarantee it. And the best way to actually check them out, and I know you're seeing, oh no, you're not seeing my screen. Uh, best way to check them out is actually to go to uh, this following address. Where you can check them out. Um, as I said, I do stream on the Sticky Piston channel, uh, which is... Yeah, Sticky Piston. You can always check them out. A uh, lot other great content creators, Moe's Major, uh, Mario Hills, uh, Jangro, who will actually be streaming tomorrow morning. Uh, he's playing Valhelsia 5, I think, and then which is also a 119 mod pack, I believe. And then Captonium is on Fridays. So, yeah, a great way to check them out is just to follow that link right there. Uh, let's see. Sticky Piston offers, if you uh, go into their website, you can actually go at a trial server. And if you decide you want to do a full month server, use Caldor Checkout. You'll get 15% off your first month. Great way to check out the service. I'm going to let the team tell you a little bit about themselves. I'm going to then go grab a brief break, and we will be back momentarily. Out of time on the Sticky Piston Trials? Then try a short-term seven-day server. Play everything found on the free trials with no countdown of doom. There's plenty of useful features, such as the click and play installer and world manager to enhance your server experience. Your 7 day hosting will automatically roll over to a monthly subscription until cancelled. Get maximum value with prices starting from $1.49, pence, or a euro. What are you waiting for? Host your Minecraft party server today.
All right, thank you so much for your patience. I do appreciate that. Took me just a minute longer than I anticipated. My humble apologies. Anyways, we'll head back and uh, get a few other things going here. I forgot to set something up here. Hold on. There we go. All right, there we are. So, anyways, we're back. It's nighttime. Hopefully, uh, let's go see if that... I'm sure it had to have. I was gone long enough. I do want to get some storage going, but I really want to get some Arsene Nouveau going. Source jar is almost full. Just uh, one more gem, and we'll uh, get a few other things going here. I wonder if the source jars are going to have to be closer to that. I'll look into that later. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, look at our next quest, shall we? All right, got that. What? Uh, which one did we get? We didn't get one, did we? Oh, we might have. Hold on. We did not get a gl We didn't get one. Well, that's a bummer. Okay.
All right, there we go. And cobblestone slabs don't have a home. Okay. I swore they did, but all right. They do. Oh. Right up there. Okay. All right, so let's see what we need to make here. We need eight of these, so we need some, uh, we're gonna need to sacrifice two gold ingots, I believe. And then let's craft this. Actually, what's it called? It is called the Arcane Pedestal. Okay, let's do that. Arcane Pedestal. We need eight. Oh, yeah, okay. Six. Not enough source gems. See if I have any more source gems hidden around somewhere. I don't think I do. Not in there. Not there. Um, not in there. One more there. None there. None there. Tell you what, let's see if we can do a block. That's going to take a little bit of time. All right, there are eight arcane pedestals. We got air essence, nice. And now we need to make, ooh, okay, we need to make this. The arcane pedestal. I think we only need one, right? The art ritual brazier is used to cast rituals. It can also be used for decoration. If you want to light the brazier, use the lights on it. To perform rituals, you'll need arcane pedestals as well. As there are so many rituals to cast, make sure you check out each of them using the War Notebook. This can be done by holding the control on the ritual table while the book is in your inventory. Okay. That is going to take a minute. Ooh, we got two air essences. Nice. Um, I think that may actually let us make one of our um, glyphs while we're waiting. Uh, launch. Ooh, launch requires rabbit hide. Amplify, cut, conjure mage, block, bounce. Okay. Dispel, freeze, harvest, leap. Ah, leap, but it requires wild wings, and I don't think we have any wild wings. All right, wild wings. We need to get in a cave. Over halfway there, that's good at least. I have one wild wing. Wild, wild and wing. Nope, only regular mobs there.
Uh, we can't take fall damage. Wow. Whoa, that is gorgeous. All right, we're definitely heading over that way. Nice, okay. All right, nice. No, 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 no. <laughs> Shoot. some good armor. Ah, uh, not strong enough to break that, huh? Gosh, I hate those things. that one oh, I'm such a chicken It's a monster box. Enderman. There that is. Shh. 
I didn't even see that thing there. That sucks. Of course, no inventory space. And this is a cool cave, and I want to go explore. But I also need to explore when I have inventory space, right? Ow! Never mind, I'm done. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> All right, a couple amplify spells, maybe some additional harm spells would not be a bad thing there. I need to get storage sussed out though. Our storage is causing me tons and tons of issues. storage storage that is what we need to work on because that is what is going to be my biggest bottleneck so unfortunately this layout doesn't really work for storage drawers a drawer controller can uh, must have must be have to fit uh I, I bet i know how to check actually well yeah, that's probably about right. So that anything that fits within a chunk will work for storage. For a storage controller, okay? So let's go up to our... It's a little problematic. I don't know, actually, that may be all right. So yeah, if we have one storage controller handling everything here and we organize it, um, it won't give me a ton of storage, but it'll be all right. I wonder, oh, I'm sure it's like, I'm sure it's a height limit too thing though. Uh, where I'd like to get in with a few other blocks. I doubt Mahogany is going to have a variant. Let's look. Nope. Mahogany doesn't work. Jungle does, though. So any of the vanilla blocks will give us something. Okay. Probably oaks what we're going to want. Okay. We'll 
need to do it a little differently than I've done in the past. That's too wide. Hold on. I guess that'd be fine. I know, not very exciting, but very important for long-term uh, base purposes, so. We should be able to do one over here, I think, and that will basically, so, I mean, it won't be perfect because you're walking right into the storage, but that's all right. Theoretically, that should be, because I can go five high, because uh, from there, I think I can reach five. 
Now, we're going to want a dark, I think, a dark wood. Maybe a dark oak, probably, for the actual drawers. Right now, we can just do this. Then we'll do We'll need some compacting drawers somewhere. The compacting drawers maybe we'll leave down here somewhere. I don't, I don't know. We'll figure that part out. throw those away little ways fly though but that's right we got plenty of oak so it's not a problem we didn't get near much done in two hours it's hard i think i'll try to better plan and prepare uh, i didn't i have not had a lot of game time availability the last couple days so um still do some storage down here we'll see but this may turn into something else like a cellar maybe maybe this will just be all our food and like all our blocks and st Ooh, actually that's not a bad idea make this more of just like tied directly to the house oh i like that idea actually all right so we need um a lot more dark woods I got a decent amount of dark oak, actually. Let's grab a stack. Let's take a look at something here real quick. All right. I'd really love to get some of our storage kind of worked out. So we are going to make the RF tool. We're going to make the compacting drawer. We're going to link everything, and we're going to see what all links. So.
Yeah, that looks good. So that's 16, that's 32 storage places, okay. And I think we'll have you kind of um, actually maybe here. There's storage, right? Let's go make a storage controller. I think we'll need some. Um, I don't think I have that uh, available. Let's see. Any quartz. Monkey <sighs> link, okay. All right, let's see. Let's eat a potato. Let's go downstairs real quick. For sake of this purposes, we're gonna throw that there. That's done, that's done. All right, uh, storage uh, controller. Yep, need a redstone comparator. 